Hi, I'm here to talk about a thing that can happen to you when playing sports or even in an everyday accident. Concussion. Concussions have got a lot of bad press. We tend to hear about the bad cases, but I think it's also important to know that concussions can be well managed by you, your family, your school and your healthcare professional. The first thing you need to know about concussions is that they are like your other injuries, but different because your brain is special. When you injure your knee, you rest it initially and see how it feels after a few days. You probably get it looked at. Sometimes it's something more serious, but most get better and you slowly resume activity. Well, all that's true for concussions. The big difference is that most people aren't used to resting their brain. There are no crutches, no ice pack, no injury that people can see. If you go right back to school, physical activity, digital life, it's like going for a run on your injured knee. So let's start with the basics. What is a concussion? A concussion can happen after a knock on the head or elsewhere on your body that shakes your head. If your head suddenly moves or stops, then the brain can bounce around, twist a bit or bump into the skull. This hurts the brain, just like if you bang your knee, except with your brain, you can't see it. You could feel a number of things after this happens. It could be a headache, confusion, blurry vision, feeling sick or even just generally feeling weird. You see, your brain is like mission control and it controls things like your balance, your mood, your sleep, your thinking and your senses. These are all things that can be affected and are signs that the brain's been disturbed a bit. You might even have been knocked out, but it's important to realize that you don't have to lose consciousness to have a concussion. Now, it's really important to recognize when concussions may have happened and remove those affected from activity straight away so that they can be checked out. You can help here by keeping an eye out for teammates and letting the coach or referee know if you are worried about yourself or others. So, how do we recover from concussion? Number one is we don't want to make things worse. We can't see a concussion, even with the cool machines we have now like CT scans or MRI. We know if you injure your brain again before it is fully healed, things get much worse. So, while it is recovering, we want to avoid any further knocks to the head. We also know that too much thinking activity can make things worse, so we need to make sure you can return to your studies first. Then, when you are ready to go back to sport, we follow a protocol, a kind of official procedure which we call Graduated Return to Play, GRTP. Now, as I've said, helping your brain self-repair is different to other injuries. It might be helpful to imagine your brain like a mobile phone. When you get a concussion, it's as if your baseline battery life goes down. It's harder to recharge to 100%, as a lot of your power goes to healing your brain. If we try to do all of the activities we normally do, chances are we will run out of power quickly. This is when we feel run down and our concussion symptoms get worse. Being at school makes the brain work hard and so you want to return gradually. Each of us is different in how we respond to a concussion and so your recovery plan is unique and needs to be made just for you. Sometimes this means taking more time and it's important for you and your family to see this as a smart response that will get you better sooner, not a failure. Take that first week after a concussion in 24-hour chunks. Things might get a bit worse or better in the first 24 hours, so you should err on the side of caution and focus on resting the brain. This means taking time off from screens, taking it easy, no sports, and getting lots of sleep. Sleep is good for a concussion. Again, if you injured your knee, you might limp into school, but with a concussion, you need to rest that brain. You may need to take a few days off and sometimes longer. This seems like a lot, but it may pay off down the road. When you feel okay again, you can go for some walks, try some easy reading and some screen time, but not too much. If this goes okay, then you are ready to go back to school, but take it easy, don't rush back in. This might mean slowly reintroducing school attendance and activity. If this goes okay, you can return to your regular school schedule. If your brain can manage schoolwork without your concussion symptoms coming back, you can return to physical activity by following the graduated return to play protocol. Step 1 is the rest period you have just been through. 
and as long as you get none of those symptoms that I talked about, you can go on to the next stage and try some light exercise, like go for a jog. And if there are no problems there, you can go on to light practice, like kicking or passing a ball around, or running practices just by yourself or with a small group. This makes the activity more predictable and less likely you will be hit by an object or another player. If all goes well and your symptoms don't come back, your coach may use a coloured bib in training sessions. The bib is to remind the other players that you are returning from injury and that they shouldn't come into contact with you. Depending on your sport or activity, you may need to go back to your doctor or healthcare professional to check everything is OK before you go back to full contact training and matches. It is sometimes better to stretch this stage out a bit to make sure you return to play safely and to help you feel confident that you are back on your game. But if you have any symptoms or any problems with any of these stages, you have to drop back to the stage before, and that is where you can get stuck sometimes and need to go back to see your doctor. All this can take time and be very frustrating. It's hard to slow down, and it's easy to feel down. Talking to the people around you is key. It's so important that you are open with your parents, teachers, coaches, family and friends, because it's hard to see concussions. People presume you're OK, so you need to be upfront about how you're feeling. Things like being in a fog or being anxious can be hard to put a finger on. So you don't need to dwell on it, but you do need to be clear and honest about how you're feeling. The good news is that if looked after properly, nearly everyone fully recovers within four to six weeks, and I think the world is much more accepting of concussions now. So take care of yourself if you have a concussion. Your brain is you. Everything you have got good at, school and sport, your memories, how you figure things out, all that is sitting inside your brain, and you want to keep it running like a Ferrari. So keep positive, share any concerns with people that care about you, and take care of that awesome brain of yours.